What's up everyone? All right, well, today is day two of Trader Rehab, another small green day. I did have uh, at least, well, I'm red on HJLI, $219, but green on the other stocks I traded, and I under-traded today. I didn't over-trade, I under-traded. I left money on the table, but I'm walking away with money in my pocket, putting together now two back-to-back -back green days, 5,000 yesterday, 6,000 yesterday, 5,000 today. That's some good progress. Maybe I could do it again tomorrow, slow and steady. And hopefully I'll finish this week with a couple more green days. I go into the next week with a little bit of confidence, feeling a little bit better. The market right now, yeah, we've got some nice action on WHLM. Nice move there from seven up to almost nine. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, I can see on the one minute, it was a little choppy and I'm okay with leaving a little money on the table right now. It's about building confidence and I'm doing that one small trade at a time. So I hope you guys enjoy the recap today. Hit that thumbs up. Hope you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. See you in the morning. What's up, everyone? All right, well, I'm actually loading up my charts here because I shut everything down when I finished trading. And so I got to load it back up so I can uh, break down my uh, recap for you today. So I'm finishing the morning up. $5,271.35, making it my second green day in a row. Was up about 5,000 yesterday as well. So, you know, two green days like this are uh, a good start to the month of August. Um, I had to really restrain myself today not to be more aggressive on NETE. This one, uh, so it squeezes up. Uh, there was a headline that came out right at 8.30 a.m. and it squeezes up uh, pops to 1390, does a pullback. I bought on the pullback right here at 1350. And I got in with my small account at 1348. And I tried to get in with my big account by pressing shift one, hotkey, long, basically a market order. Did not fill, why? Because I took that hotkey and I unscripted it from my keyboard because that hotkey, it's really good in a hot market. And during a colder market, it can sometimes allow me to be a little too impulsive, a little too aggressive. And I was thinking about this yesterday, how challenging it is that the same exact pattern, same exact setup, this, this exact stock during a really hot market could have gone to $16, $17. Same setup, same news, everything could be the, exactly the same except for the condition of the market. And that's really, really hard. Um, it, it's hard to train yourself when you're making a quick decision to keep this sort of um, uh, the, this secondary element that's maybe not so front and, front and center in your um, you know in your in your presence, it's almost like being able to have a lens, like uh, like a clip-on lens glasses of like putting a, a red lens on. So everything I see when I make those quick moves are through the eyes of this is a red market, and I don't know if that would actually work if I actually put like lenses on, but. Um, but today and this week, pulling that hotkey off has helped. It slowed me down because, uh, so what I did on this, I did add uh, in my main account, but I had to manually enter the order. So I got in at 14, which ended up being higher than I wanted, but with smaller size, because I knew I was chasing it. It hit a high of 14.45, it pulled back, and as the one minute came up here, I ended up selling it at like 14.20 or something like that. I made uh, 1,800 bucks on it, so let's see, it must have been 30 cents on 6,000 shares. So it must have been at like 13.90. So, you know, it, it was okay, it wasn't a it wasn't a huge trade, but and it was good that I didn't add, because the fact is, if breaking news comes out and the first one minute pullback doesn't rip, it's already, problem and in this case it didn't and it just kind of faded I don't know what it did the rest of the day um, looks like uh, up until now noontime it's just continued to fade so I got green on it and that was it the next one WHLM leading gapper this morning well actually my next trade was HJLI so HJLI this one I jumped into uh, pre-market I uh, tried to do a dip trade right here off of the half dollar. And I thought that that was an okay entry. I bought 6,000 shares and it went lower and I hit the bid and bailed out, lost $219. That's fine, I'm totally okay with that. If it had double bottomed at, at 850 
and then the target would have been a break of VWAP. I was trying to get in to anticipate potentially the first five minute candle uh, to make a new high um, right here, but it ended up reversing. So that's okay, uh, no big deal, it's a very small loss. And then uh, WHLM, this was the last one I traded today and I traded it up until the opening bell uh, and I'm, I'm happy to see that it ended up giving you guys some good opportunities. I did not trade it past 9.30. I traded it just in this move right here from 6.15 up to uh, 6.55. That was where I traded it. I didn't overstay my welcome. Uh, we did get a nice move, 50 cents a share, but that was it for me. Uh, so the bell rang and I just said, you know what? I'm gonna shut everything down. I'm green, I'm up $5,000. That's two green days in a row. Obviously I was red last week. So right now I'm up more, uh, as of right now, up $10,000 on the week than all of last week. So I kind of want to finish this week green. I don't want to overstay my welcome because even yesterday I was up 3,000. The bell rang and I got caught in a little bit of chop at the open. You know, for all I know, I, I, I could have just for instance, I could have jumped in that micro pullback right there, stopped out right here. And then all of a sudden, two minutes later, it's ripping up and I'm chasing it and I'm having to you know, take bigger size, or I get in right here. I miss that move, but then I get in there, another false breakout. Then I try to get another false breakout. And then I'm getting to a point where I've given back my whole morning. Finally, it rips up. I do maybe a, a halt resumption, dip and rip, and it sells off again. So looking at it, I'm happy to see that it's held up well. I'm happy to see that it's up 89% right now on the day. I think that's great, but I'm not gonna feel too much FOMO on it. I got green and I'm gonna stay green by shutting it down. I'm working on under trading, not over trading. So less is more. And that's it for me. That's a green day, two green days in a row. So that's the first time I've done that uh, now since, let's see, let's, let's check trader view. So uh, the last time I had two consecutive green days was um, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, um, which was July 21st and 22nd right there. And in those two days, I made $150,000. So those two green days were a lot better than the last two green days. But, you know, I'm just trying to kind of slowly rebuild some confidence. I don't feel like I'm going to really dig myself out of the hole from last week uh, by, you know, hitting one big Hail Mary type of trade and making 100000 bucks. The best way for me to start making back some of those losses is just to re- center, get focused, hit some base hits like I did yesterday and today, get green, watch the market. And if the market does start to heat back up, maybe I could take the red lens off, put the green lens on and start to approach some of these um, uh, stocks and some of these setups with a little bit more optimism and a bit of bigger share size. And I will hopefully by the time the market is giving me that signal, have the benefit of having several nice green days under my belt and the confidence will be back. Because the fact is, you know, if we, even if we had like a big move uh, yesterday or today, I'm not in a place where I could take the risk. Because if I go red, then I'm continuing the drawdown. The losing streak continues. I will have not, you know, the fact is two green days after that five day stretch, two green days, I'm not out of the woods yet. I've got to get on the rest of the week, small, small days. Small red is okay, small green is okay better, better to be green. But I just need to get like a full week under my belt of just keeping my head above water to feel like I've broken the cold streak. Breaking the cold streak doesn't mean you made back everything from the red streak, but it's resetting, regaining confidence, and then you're positioned well for when the market starts to heat up. So that's it for me today. Um, as always, in case you didn't already know, day trading is risky and my results are not typical. I encourage you to trade in a simulator. Practice the strategies you're learning in a simulator because if you can't make money in a simulator, you have no business putting real money on the line. Take it slow. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy the uh, rest of the day and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. I hope you really enjoyed that video and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button.